Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snokus, and this is another episode in our Endless Space 2 campaign here, or Let's Play series. Um, as you might have noticed, hopefully, I've started recording this in uh, 2K uh, resolution. And hopefully this works out. See, it, see this as a bit of an um, experiment for those of you that can actually view this, which have those of you that have the displays capable to actually watch in 2K capability. Um, for those of you that can't, I mean, you can still watch it in 1080p, and hopefully this would be fine. If if the frame rates uh, suffer, then uh, I'm gonna stop doing it. And um, but regardless, I'm probably gonna keep with it, at least for this session, maybe even longer if it works out. And um, we're, we're gonna have to see when it gets more resource intensive when we start meeting other races. But anyway, let's uh, see what our colony ship finds. Another colonizable planet with some uh, Hyperion, which we discovered the name of last uh, episode. So let's end the turn here. There's a lot of um, tabs up here, which I'm going to explain in due time when they become relevant. No reason to uh, keep up, um, keep too much time on them right now, especially since we took so much time last episode uh, just setting up the game. Okay, so um, we're still exploring, nothing real happening, so in these... Um, Kind of boring turns where, where nothing happens, I'm just gonna keep jumping ahead. Okay, so the Academy, which is a, a, a un, unique... I, guess it, I think it's a planet, uh, I can't really remember, uh, in a system. Has been discovered by an unknown empire, and the Academy is essentially where you lore-wise um, recruit heroes from. And the Academy kind of levels up over time, and the heroes get better for it. Okay, so um, every faction also have their kind of uh, main quest, um, which is kind of weird in a strategy game, but it does exist. And if you finish it, you, you get boons by finishing the quests. And if you finish it by its entirety, uh, in Endless Legends you won by doing that. I, I'm not sure if that's the case here as well, uh, but if not, I'm sure you're going to get a very big boon. So anyway, we, we can... Um, we can choose an objective here, we can either uh, win three battles, and for that we get a policy, I believe. Yeah, we do. Uh, we can take your exploration fleet and orbit around two systems in a different constellation, and this is why we need the Baryon uh, shields, or what their name was, we can go into another constellation. Or we can socialize, which means we have to raise relationship with a minor civilization to 90 or higher, to do that, you need to spend influence on um, minor civilization, and that also takes turns to uh, get to 90. Um, and we don't get that ma much uh, influence unless we really ten try to focus on it. Although this um, this policy would be real nice. But anyway, um, this is actually a really good... Um, module for our ship, so I'm gonna go with the, the easy one for the SOFANS. Um, this is the flavor text, I'm gonna give it a try to read, if it uh, doesn't work out then I'm just gonna have to leave it to you to read by your lonesome if you want to. Running an empire is a, is a large, complex, time-consuming operation. This has been an inconvenient truth since the dawn of Sophanity. One of the few drawbacks to living in a civilization as cosmopolitan, prosperous and brilliant as ours. One always ha finds oneself straining for the next yawning juicing thing. People to meet, things to do, star systems to conquer, moons to destroy. It's enough to make one hang up one's hoverboard. One solution is to this problem was posed by Arar Naidim, the proctor of future research at Rohab University. Why not get some of the stupid people to do it? Surely there is a sub sofan somewhere who actually enjoyed this endless drudgery. As the warning, Hitler be this away. Uh, but the extensive and immediate ridicule she received was was uh, sufficient to change her tune. Why not? She then proposed. Acer Bickley. Acer Bickley. Okay, I have no idea what that means. I'm probably gonna Google it. But if I don't forget it, so please write it write in the comment if you know what it means. I have no idea. Just get an AI to do it then. The genius of this idea could not be understated. The movement gained immediate traction in the High Caucus. Budgets were allocated, the finest minds assigned to the project, and in a matter of months, the enhanced neuroflexible entity research, ENFER, project was launched. 
Now, just a few short years later, we are ready for the final touches. Tighten the bolts and raise your receptacles, so once with Enfer, finally, finally, I call the nature upon us. Science. The lifeblood of so fun society. The unquenchable fountain of curiosity. It's the time we automate it. Teach Enfer a newly constructed AI the basic of scientific exploration. So yeah, so the main strain of um, at least the early um, main quest here for the Sofon is that they kind of build uh, they build um, an AI, a, a big, a very very big AI and I, I haven't really gotten to start so that I know what happens with it but um, that's what they do anyway. So the quest is gonna be um, pinned up here and if you go into quests which are here we only got one right now but you can decide which quest you wanna pin and some are time sensitive so you might uh, prioritize those ones. Um, and we are still building these um, these buildings in this uh, order and I'm gonna consider building an incubator maybe after the cerebral reality is done because we are gonna need the dust and um, because as soon as um, we start building more ships our dust is gonna go down as you can see we're already losing to our turn now uh, we built a drone network that's nice and that's gonna um, that's actually, it's the maintenance of the drone network, which is uh, making us lose dust, I believe. Um, if we take a look at the population, we have one pilgrim population, which have a religious pop political opinion. And we have two sofans with um, scientific um, political opinion. All of them contribute with um, science, well, that's nice in a way. Let's um, just keep going here until we find something interesting. This seems to be quite a big constellation. We're mostly gonna um, encounter. So this is the academy power increase that I talked about before. Now, when you recruit heroes, they're gonna be level two uh, instead of level one, which they were when we uh, got the first hero. We're mostly gonna encounter um, some other faction over here, which was when I was. Which was what I was trying to say um, before. Okay, so this is funny. Uh, my other game with the Sofans, uh, which I played before. Obviously. Um, I also encountered these guys as the first minor civilization. So this is a bit weird. wonder if that's um, scripted or something. I doubt it, but... Okay, so we, we're gonna need the tech off-world agri business which we are we are we do have in the research queue um, they gave, give us some extra approval uh, on fertile and just in general so these guys would be nice to have in your empire and just spread around on your planets to increase the approval I suppose they're kind of uh, single simple minded that way we have agriculture business Quite a way back, we could probably place it a bit more forward so we can gain these guys' approval quicker. Now we get we got our um, our hero just got their first skill point, and since we have them on a system, we should oops sorry, uh, we should give them um, a skill which increases. So this one would be nice, for instance. We get one extra. Um, production and one extra food per uh, per pop on planet we could also get, take this one which gives us extra dust and we might take this one the next time because we're gonna need the dust to just keep afloat but I think being able to uh, grow your pops qu quicker and also build quicker is uh, most important um, getting more signs is also nice but we do already have a huge advantage um, compared to the other factions, so no need to worry in that regard, I'm sure. Right, um, we have the baryonic shielding after the agribusiness. What is this gonna give us? Gonna give us um, more colonization, so we should consider building an incubator. It would take 
three turns. So, you know, let's build two of them. The private public partnership is going to have to wait a while. We have one um, colonizable planet as of now that we know of. There might be some others over here. So let's um, tell this guy to start getting over here. Just so that we... Okay, so you can't... <laughs> you can't queue up moves apparently. Did not know that. That's um, a bit unfortunate, but it might just be my um, Stellaris reflex kicking in. But as I said, we have one colonizer planet as of now, so let, maybe let's move this up to the second in the queue for now. This is gonna. Um, uh, I don't think I um, explained this, but. This is gonna take a couple of turns. Um, it's already been like, I'm gonna guess, 10 turns. And you can spend influence money and um, manpower to increase the, the, the time it takes to settle a colony. Um, and uh, when you, if you play and the, I can't remember, the, the dust focused faction, you pretty much always can spend this which gives you, uh, which it speeds things up quite a bit, which is very nice to expand very quickly, which is why the Sofans aren't that great at expanding. They don't really have the same boons in, uh, the, the same traits and bonuses when it comes to expansion. Right, you have to create the fleet. This is a system I'm quite... Um, um, Quite unused with. I'm not used to. Um, due to Stellaris and other space games. Okay, so uh, we just research wave function. The next of is off world agri business. This means we can build an um, optical optics research lab, which gives us extra um, uh, research and happy. We are unfortunately not happy. Uh, so we're gonna have to fix that first, but then we have another tech um, queued up which are gonna give us more approval This is gonna this is uh, a wonder that you can build which you can see with a golden frame here uh, which gives you um, a lot of uh, it, it's kind of like wonders in civilization. It gives you um, unique buffs essentially, but the thing is we do need titanium I think it's called and uh, Hyperion uh, to get that, and we, I don't even think we've found uh, titanium yet. We have found um, super spuds, so the Irish will be happy. Super happy. And um, we found some um, Hyperion, which is why we're gonna... Hey, we found another colony. I uh, completely missed that. Well, uh, so um, in Dusa we just uh, colonized. We're still gonna wait for the public-private partnership to finish up before we um, get another incubator. Okay, so um, now we got a new system colonized. This is in Dusa, and uh, our home system is Megres. And we're gonna set up a queue here, and we're gonna start with the same thing essentially. First off, um, production and food. Then, sorry if I hit the mic. Sometimes uh, then we're gonna get the cerebral reality mostly because of the money because as you can see as I explained before We are losing money quickly, which is why I have queued up some money some dust um, producing techs And um, After that I suppose we should get this and then this um, Because this is useless anyway until we get uh, extra happiness these things, uh, which I haven't explained at all, are called curiosities, and they contribute some things to planets and systems occasionally. And the way you can, as you can see right now, we don't really know what it is, it's uh, just a um, question mark. You can either queue him up like this and get him down here, or you can send your, um, what are they called, your exploration ships to uh, essentially camp themselves in a system for a couple of turns and using um, 
not probes, but expeditions uh, on the planet to find out what curiosities are. And this is the system uh, introduction, as we saw before. So now we're gonna colonize uh, Kaios 4, which is gonna give us a lot of science, a bit of food and not a lot of anything else. Most importantly, Hyperion. I love these intros, it's, they're really cool and they kind of kind of remind me of Interstellar, but we're in an Interstellar with um, skeleton access or something. So it's gonna take 28 turns, so this is once again one of the reasons why expansion is difficult with its Sofans. We're also losing a lot of manpower every turn. Manpower every turn. Didn't see why. Um, Right, and as I said, there are different um, government forms, and we are... Let's check what we are, actually. We're, we're a democracy or a republic of some kind. Uh, we are a democracy. So we have... Um, we can have three parties, for instance. Our hero is the leader of the scientist party. If we get another hero with... Um, this is because of the... Um, I can't remember what they're called, but the pop, which have a religious focus. Uh, if you get a hero which is uh, religious, you, that um, hero becomes the leader of the religious party. And then you can have a third party. And you, you can actually change government to dictatorships, which um, uh, sets it to... So you only can have one uh, political party. You can also have a federation, which have two parties. Very America-centric, but still. And so on and so forth. Um, and they also have effects, have other effects. But anyway, we're, we are gonna have, um, uh, we're gonna have um, an election soon. So let's find out how we're looking. Okay, I might have, no, the, the poll, yeah. The, the last one was a poll which said that our, um, essentially our scientific party is in the lead, unsurprisingly. But uh, when you expand and you integrate other Populations, you are gonna you are gonna get other parties to rise up as well. Okay, so we got um, off-world agribusiness done finally. So now we can start to praise these guys. Which we're gonna do now. We're gonna get four um, value relation maybe um, for ten turns, which we're gonna which is gonna get us up to forty. And after that's done, this is gonna the cost gonna go down to um, I think it's ten again. Might might be a bit more, and we're gonna con uh, continue doing that until we get them over ninety to finish the quest. And after that, we can also um, assimilate them into us by um, providing them, helping them in a quest. So that's more like what we're gonna do, but it's a while forward. Okay, so we uh, we were researched enough um, in the. On the tech side, uh, on the science side of the tech trees, now we have uh, got the ability to um, build a wonder, the Intergalactic Technology Center, which we're mostly going to build as soon as we have both Titanium and um, Hyperion. And yeah, that's it essentially. Um, turn 19 now. It's pending. A, a bug I um, actually encountered in an earlier playthrough was that I um, kept clicking through the end turn. I, I kept ending the turns too quickly so that the AI in the other empires couldn't keep up. And essentially, I believe what happened was that another empire got stuck in a loop or a, a bug. So uh, I simply couldn't continue. I had to end the campaign from. Uh, from the beginning, because no matter how far back I um, loaded, I couldn't get the bug to disappear. So I was stuck on like turn 90 or something and couldn't continue. Which is kind of why I started this playthrough because I want to try it again. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be a bit more careful as of now. Anyway, uh, let's. The hive cares a little for the interests of our Okay, so this is a bit interesting because just as last time, I encountered the other. Minor civilizations, the don't know what they're called, but first, and then I encountered these guys. 
This is kind of like it's scripted, but maybe not. I'm not really sure. These here I haven't encountered yet, though. So that's cool. That's really cool. Hi, guys. What's up? You, um... On gas planets, you are fucking fantastic. You give uh, five food. That's really good. And you have a, polit a scientific political output. So that's really nice as well. Because you are going to jam quite well. You're going to gel quite well with um, with the soul funds in our empire. So let's praise you. Why not? I mean, um, it's not going to spend the engines or anything else. Anyway, uh, that's over 20 minutes. Hope you uh, liked this episode. Please leave a like if you want to see more of this. Or um, dislike if you want to see something else and leave a suggestion if you do dislike, please. And um, yeah, hope you have a nice day. See you, see you next time. Bye.